In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom 404 page for your WordPress site. Now, some themes come with a custom 404, but most don't, and most just provide a very blank, unfriendly, unattractive page for your visitors, and they just end up bouncing off your site. So we're going to build a 404 that will hopefully engage your visitors, keep them on your site looking at other stuff even though they didn't find what they want, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and learn how to make these custom 404 pages. I'll see you there. So to get started with this plugin, the first thing we have to do is install it. So we head over to our plugins and then go to add new. You can type in just 404 and I'll show you the plugin that I use versus a bunch of others that are out there. So I use the one called 404 to 301, which basically means if there's a 404 page, it's redirected. But more importantly, it is logged. Meaning when they hit a specific page, the URL they're trying to get to is logged in the log file. So you can see what they're looking for when they didn't find what they actually wanted. And then they're redirected to a 404 page that you can custom create. This is one of the few plugins that does this and the importance of it is if you find a lot of people trying to visit a certain page that doesn't exist, it might be smart to just create that page or create a redirect from that URL they're trying to get to to the actual page that they're trying to get to versus other 404 plugins where it just shows a custom 404 page, which is okay, but if you can use that information, that 404 information to improve your website and get your visitors where they want to go, it's just so much more powerful. So we're going to install this one here and then click on activate and we click on settings here. We also have a new menu item on the bottom left. We can just click on that top level item to go to the page. This is the log page, Alta Polta. Not sure what language that is or if that's even a word, but anyway, this is where the logs show up when they happen. So under the path category, it's gonna show the path they're trying to get to when there's a 404. If we head over to the settings by clicking on the 404 settings link, we can set the plugin up. So we can redirect. A 301 redirect is usually the best because Google also logs your 404s. The more 404s you have on your website, the worse it is. So you don't wanna have a lot of 404s, so you can redirect to, for example, the homepage then there are no 404 errors according to Google. Everything goes somewhere, but that's not super. What I like to do, have a 301 redirect, have it go to a 404 page, which is log the information so you can fix it. You can choose a custom URL or have an existing page or have no redirect at all. I use the existing page, and for that we actually have to create a 404 page, which I haven't made yet, but when we do make it in just a minute, it'll be in this list and then we can choose that and create the cool 404 page. So for the 404 log errors, you can either enable or disable it. Email notifications, every time a 404 is registered, you can get an email. I usually have this off, so I periodically come and check that table that we saw earlier, rather than getting an email every time, which can be kind of a pain. And if you do want an email, this is the address that they send it to right here. And you can exclude certain parts of the website, like the WP content folder, which is in here by default. You can exclude others if you want to. Hit on save changes. We're gonna make a 404 page right now to update this drop down here. But for now, I'm just gonna save those changes. Head over to pages, click on add new. And at its very simplest, a 404 just needs to tell people they didn't get to the right spot. So I'm gonna call 404 page and say, whoops, something went wrong, publish. Super basic, I know, clearly. But at least it's something there. And then if we go back to our 404 to 301 redirect, go to 404 settings, we can then choose that page from this dropdown. And that is now our 404 page. So after this saves, I'm gonna to go to the site to see if I can generate a 404 and see that page. So if I go to forward slash bunch of gibberish, this should load the 404 page. And there's our 404. Whoops, something went wrong, that's great. Now, if we go to the error logs, that should have logged that I tried to access that page. And here it is, this is the path. So if this was a valid path and you get a lot of hits on that particular path, consider making a real page for that and giving people what they want because they're telling you what they want with that path. Or 
if they're mistyping something or a URL on some website is incorrect, you can then use that information to create a real 301 redirect to the correct page. So now that we have this really basic ugly page, let's make a nicer one. We're going to edit this with Visual Composer. And in the front end editor here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this text block. One of the easiest ways to make a fancy 404 page right out of the box is to use a template. Visual Composer comes with some pretty cool templates. If we delete all the rows right back to this staging area, click on the Add Template button, go to the Template Library, Access the Template Library, and there's a whole bunch in here. I kind of like this one here for the 404. If we preview that, this is what it looks like. And these templates are available if you have the direct license for Visual Composer. You can click the link below this video to get access to that. And these templates just make life a whole lot faster. So if we wanted to use this template on our 404, just click on this download template button. It would download it to our template repository on the website. Click on exit template library to see our template list. Here's our new template hero section full height. Let's add that in down here. And now we have this hero section but it's not quite full height, it's just this big. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but first we're gonna change the text. We're gonna say, this page is missing. Save that. We're gonna change this to, sorry you couldn't find what you were looking for. Check out the resources below. Save that and I've got some basics here. I'm just gonna center this text here by highlighting it, clicking the center button and saving it. Just gonna make this text up here black as well. Text color to black, save changes. Now I'm gonna add some padding above and below this row. So just click on this arrow here to open the row, click on the pencil to edit, go into the design options, and I'm gonna add padding of 100 at the top and 300 at the bottom. And I'm also going to keep it at stretch row, keep it at full height, and then save changes. Now we're gonna see more of the image, as you can see here. And so we have a headline, some text, and we can add some more stuff in here. For example, we could add, if we go to WordPress widgets, we can add a list of our most recent posts by clicking on that widget. And just inserts the most recent posts right here. There aren't too many on this site, as you can tell, but it's there. Um, so for the stuff that you can add to your 404, there's a couple schools of thought. One is that you should add something compelling. When they come to a 404 page, they're usually frustrated. They don't want to find a 404. They want to find what they're looking for, but it's gone for whatever reason. So make it interesting, make it humorous if you can. You can add a video to this page that auto plays, just apologizing that they found a 404, maybe even thanking them for finding the 404 so now you can fix it. And you can also add an opt-in offer on this page there's a lot of things you can do with it. I encourage you to play around with it and find something that works for your site. And ideally, when you're tracking these 404s, because the traffic will appear in the analytics and you have the 404 log with the plugin, you'll be able to see if people are accessing the 404 and then either bouncing from your site or going to another page on your site, which is what you want. You want them to go to another page so you kind of saved that visit you don't want them to bounce. So that's how we create interesting 404s. I recommend using templates. They don't have to be the Visual Composer templates. You can find a couple others online. And like I said, there's a link below this video to a blog post where there's some inspiration where they can get from the coolest 404 pages I've found. There's plenty of other cool ones out there. It's just the ones that I've found and found pretty cool. So you can get inspiration from those. That's how we build custom 404 pages. If you want me to do this without a plugin, just using HTML and CSS, let me know in the comments down below. If I get enough votes, I'll make that happen. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave those down below the video as well. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.